Hola! In this video, I'm going to teach you how to count from 20 all the way to 99. You remember from our numbers chant, you know all the numbers from 1 all the way to 20. You can count from 1 to 20, and you know how to count by tens. But how do you say the numbers in between, like 24, 37, 45? That's what we're going to talk about right now. Los números 20 al 99. So first of all, we're going to start with the 30s because the pattern from 30 all the way to 100 is the same. So let's remember how to count by tens. Ready? Let's write it here. All right, so here we go. Let's remember these. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Perfect. But what do we do when we want to say 31? Question, how do you say and in Spanish? Do you remember how to say and? Yep. That one letter, it's pronounced E and it means and. So if you think, okay, we want to say 31. Well, 30 E. And then how do you say the number one in Spanish? Uno, done. 31, that's how you say 31. So how would you say 32? Well, instead of saying 31, you would think, how do I say two in Spanish? Oh, 30 y dos. 30 y dos. Perfect. But what about 40? What if I want to say 42? So instead of 40, I want to say 42. I'm literally going to do the same thing. 40 y dos. Okay, well, what if I want to say 55? I know that 50 means 50. How do I say 5 in Spanish? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 50 y 5. Are you figuring out the pattern? What if I wanted to say 64? Could you figure it out? What do you think it would be? Yeah, 64. All right, so we know 70 is 70. So what if I wanted to say 79? Well, how do you say nine in Spanish? So then it would be 79. What if I want to say, instead of 80, instead of 80, I want to say 87. 87. 87. Perfect. Okay, so now we have 90, 90. What if instead of 90, I want to say 93. 90 y 3. Muy bien. Now, I said I was going to leave for 20 last, and it's because it's a little bit different. The way that we did it here, some people still write 20 the same way. So let's pretend I wanted to say 23. The old way, like way back in the day, people used to do it like this. 20 y 3. And you might still see some people write it that way, maybe. If you look any, in any old textbooks, you might see some old Spanish books that still write it that way. But the modern way is to squish it all into one word. Maybe it's because when we speak fast, it kind of sounds like that, 23. For whatever reason, this is what happens. Instead of saying 20 y 3, it's all going to get squished together. We're going to delete the letter E and we're going to replace it with an I. English, remember I'm using English vowels. 23. Okay. 
So remember how before we used this word to say and? Well, now it's basically all just squished up into one word. Veintitres. So if I wanted to say 24, I'd keep that same beginning part and I would say 24. If I want to say 27, okay, well, instead of 24, I'm going to say 27. So there you have it. This is how you count and can figure out all the numbers from 20 all the way to 99. Well, you can have 100 here. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions. Happy counting. Adios. Hey, I want to tell you one more trick. It actually is about the numbers before 20. So the numbers 16 to 19. Maybe you already noticed this. As you were doing the numbers chant, you may have already noticed the pattern in these words, but I want to show you what also has happened. So remember with 20, we said that there was like this old way to say, for example, 22, 20 y dos, but now it's all squished up into one word. And instead of writing like that, now we write 20 dos, okay? Well, a similar thing has happened with these numbers. So let's think about the number 16 in Spanish. Do you remember how to say 10 in Spanish? Yes, yes, yes. Then we have the word and. How do you say six? Seis, diez y seis. The old way, so way back in the day, people used to write it like that. People used to write it in three different words. But the modern way is to squish it all up into one word. So the Z is just gonna change to a C. The Y changes to I. And then we have seis. And just, oops, just because of some grammar rules for pronunciation, it gets an accent. But the S is seis. 17, same thing. Way back in the day, we used to say diez y siete. But now it's squished all up. Diez y siete. Okay. Then we know that 18 is dieciocho, 19, diecinueve. So there you go. An extra little tidbit about the numbers 16 and 19. Let me know if you have any questions. Adios.